on the flute. This is the bamboo flute and it is called Atentenben in Ghanaian language. This is the B flat bamboo flute. We have two types. We have the C and then we have the B flat. This is the B flat bamboo flute. And we are going to explore the notes on the flute so that we can play the scale and use the scale to play some favorite tunes. That's what you're going to do. Okay, now let's get started. Now, as you can see, I have written the nose of the flute. Nose or keys of the flute. They are the same thing. So now, when you come here, you see that the, we have the musical alphabet for the scale of B flats written under the holes over here. So here we have this B flat for this hole, we have C for this hole, we have D for this hole, we have E flat for this hole, we have F for this hole, then we have also G here for this hole. Okay, now you can also see that I've written the tonic surface. The tonic surface is the do, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That is what we call this tonic surface. So you can see the B flat in the scale of B flat. B flat is the first note. So the first note is do. The second note, which is C, is re. The third note, which is D, is mi. The fourth note, which is E flat, is Fa. The fifth note, which is F, is So. Then we have the sixth note, which is G, which is also La. Then we come back to this A, which is T. Then you come back to where you started. That's the B flat. You play it high, then it gives you an octave sound. So we're going to play it and see how it's going to sound. We're going to play the scale of B flat. Okay, let's get started. So this is how you hold the flute. You hold it with the left thumb. The left hand, you place the thumb at the hole here, right here. Okay? Then you put the index finger of the right hand here. Then you put the middle finger of the right hand on this hole. Then you put the ring finger on the hole label D here. I hope you can see it clearly. Okay, now you bring in the right hand. So you put the thumb under here to support the flute. You put the index finger here on the C, then you put the middle finger on this, the B flat. So when you play it, when you play it with all the fingers on the holes, you're going to get the B flat note or key. Let's play it and see how it will sound. the lower octave okay so now that is the b flat with all the holes covered now we're going to play c in order to play the c you take away the middle finger from the hole here then you play it so let's play the b flat in the c Okay, now we're going to play the D. You take away the index finger away, then you play. We're going to play the E flat. You take away the ring finger, then you play the ring finger of the left hand, then you play. You play in the F, you take away the middle finger, then you play. Play the 
you see. You take away the index finger from here, leaving only the thumb at the hole here. Then you play it. We're going to play. We have two ways of playing the A. We can play the A opened. You don't touch or you don't cover any hole. We just play it. Or you can also cover all the holes. Every hole here, you can cover every hole. Together with the hole down here. You cover the hole down here with the ring finger or the forefinger of the right hand. So you stretch. It requires a little bit of stretch. So you stretch like this. Then you play it with all the holes covered. Or you can play it higher. Then you come back to the B flat. So that is it. Now let's start and play it all once again. This is the scale. song. Let's play this song. We have this popular Ghanaian song called Danasi. We're going to use the same scale that we have learned to play the song Danasi. Thank you.